This morning in our Pushing the Limits series, we focus on plans for a new high-speed ground transportation system. Hyperloop Technologies is working on a project to move people and cargo at nearly the speed of sound. First on CBS This Morning, the company is announcing that former Cisco president Rob Lloyd will come aboard as CEO. Carter Evans shows us that Lloyd and his engineers believe that they are approaching a transportation breakthrough not seen in ages. 1903, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The air age was here. With their experimental flying machine, the Wright brothers launched the age of aviation. It connected the world, pushing the limits of what many believed possible. It's going to be the smoothest ride you can imagine. There's Engineer Brogan Van Brogan wants to change the world again with the ground transit system that would go faster than a commercial jet. We're kind of inventing a fifth mode of transportation which is no small task. By the end of next year, we're going to have our Kitty Hawk moment. Ben Brogan co-founded Hyperloop Technologies. Claire. Where a team of engineers is working on the futuristic system. It would move cargo and passengers through tubes on a cushion of air at almost supersonic speeds in a near vacuum. It could travel the roughly 400 miles from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about 30 minutes. We literally build a full scale tube between any two destinations. Inside of that tube, we have a pod that we can send either people or cargo very quickly. The concept seemed more like science fiction when Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk unveiled the design specifications for it in 2013. Short of figuring out real teleportation, which of course would be awesome, he wrote, the only option for super fast travel is to build a tube over or under the ground that contains a special environment. Ben Brogan worked with Musk at SpaceX launching spaceships into orbit. He's known for having wild outlandish ideas that actually come to fruition. He doesn't lack for vision, that's for sure. Musk, busy building rockets and electric cars, encouraged others to pursue his vision. Two years ago, it was all theoretical. Today, Ben Brogan and his team are designing and testing the actual mechanics. You can see the hardware we're building. You can see the team we have. Hyperloop is real. Hyperloop has $10 million in seed money and expects another $80 million in second round funding. And the team now includes newly minted CEO Rob Lloyd. I've seen what this guy can do in six weeks. Exactly. <laughs> Lloyd spent 20 years at networking giant Cisco, where he helped drive the internet revolution. It feels like we're at exactly at the beginning of building out the next big global network, except it'll be a network for people and things rather than for data. How long before we see the first functional Hyperloop system? Three years from now, I believe that we'll be designing and constructing the first two or three production Hyperloop systems in the world. Five years from now, we'll be moving goods and people. I think that's hard for people to believe. I think it's hard for people to believe because they're putting into context the transportation systems they've been relying on and have been frustrated with for the last 30 or 40 years. There's little dispute that America's transportation system is overtaxed and outdated. California is the only state with a viable plan for high-speed rail, comparable to the bullet trains of Europe and Asia. But the $68 billion project has gotten off to a slow start. I'm concerned that Hyperloop is being used as an argument against high-speed rail. John Christensen is a professor at UCLA's Institute of the Environment and Sustainability. He says Hyperloop is exciting, but unrealistic. It doesn't really solve the bigger problem which is that, you know, how could you possibly embed this kind of technology within the complicated transportation systems that we already have in cities and that we're developing in our cities and in California. But Hyperloop Technologies is moving forward with plans to have a test track up and running next year. And it's not the only company working on Musk's vision. Similarly named Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is set to build a five mile prototype in a planned community about 160 miles north of Los Angeles. It would carry actual passengers, but at reduced speeds. Quite frankly, it's a race and this company's gonna win it. It sounds like you're talking about more than just a transportation system. It's gonna change the world. Uh, Hyperloop will change how we live. Hyperloop's gonna change uh, where we live. Hyperloop is going to change economies. It's going to completely transform supply chain and manufacturing models. And that's a pretty darn exciting thought. It may be a long shot, but Lloyd and Van Brogan believe their own Kitty Hawk moment 
is in sight. That day they lifted the world into a new dimension. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles. One more example of how people are working on agents of change throughout yes. this country. Right. And how why this country is so great. We have such innovators. Exactly. We do need that. We do need changes in transportation. Exactly. And I can't wait. The professor sounded a little bit of a womp womp. I, they said it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But they're trying and they see something that well, a lot of people don't see. I can't wait. I know. Can someone please do that between Washington and New York?